and welcome to another round of painting in 20 minutes or less where I have challenged myself to trying to complete a 16 by 20 painting in 20 minutes or less. All right. Today's suggestion comes to me from Chase, my cousin, who suggested I paint a bear sitting. I'm using this reference picture of a, a picture I took of a bear out at the Squim Game Farm. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. All right. Are you ready? Let's do this. On our marks. Get set now. All right. So I'm going to just use some white to kind of do an outline. And it's not going to show up right now, but we'll see if it works out. And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, oh, well. This is, you know, art is a journey of learning. Right? Right. I'm just kidding. Um, so my cousin Chase. Uh, okay. Where should I start? Several years ago, when I went out to Alaska the first time, there was one thing I was really scared of, uh, of encountering, and that was bears. Uh, I just had this horrible idea that, you know, that there is a, too big of a chance that I'd get eaten by a bear. It was during that trip that I learned that that doesn't actually happen all that often, and one of my favorite moments was being out in the kayak and just seeing this black bear, this like young juvenile, not baby, but just kind of a young guy walking along the beach, <laughs> like right by me. And it was just like, whoa. And it just changed, changed how I felt about them forever after. And now I've had a couple of encounters with bears, only a couple of times really seeing them. Most of the time you just kind of hear them as they're like, as they lumber away, they're like, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Um, and there have been times where I've gone out looking for them, and my cousin Chase has definitely uh, been on a couple of those hiking adventures with me. I am just a lover of bears. So I, it's not very surprising to me that he challenged me to try and paint a bear. Now, obviously, this is an animal that can kill you easily. It's large, and you really just aren't much of a match for it. But in my experience, for the most part, they just have better things to do. And, you know, as long as you're not trying to, like, challenge them or anything, I don't think they care that much. I mean, it, but I think there's just as many, many different personalities in bears as there are in people, and who knows if you're going to meet the grumpy one that day, right? <laughs> so, we're just kind of filling in some stuff, like what goes where, not getting too committed yet to anything, but just kind of trying to piece some stuff together. Um, yeah. I do get teased quite a bit for how much I adore bears. I just, I love them. Uh, of the animals and of the land animals uh, in Washington, I think next to the bobcat, the black bear is probably one of my favorite critters. We're just going to kind of fill in some colors, keeping it pretty light still, though. Now, I don't have enough time to, like, really measure things out as well as I'd like to, and that gets kind of frustrating for me. But it's also, you know, I'm, I'm not practicing these paintings. I'm not, you know... There's not a lot of plotting going on. It's uh, just kind of seeing what can happen on the fly. So, which is a fun challenge. I would suggest anybody like challenge yourself. Do what you can do. It's some people I'm sure are brilliant at this. Me, not so much, but that's okay. Um, yeah. See what you can do. Have fun with it. And, yeah. So, 
Let's see. I should probably keep talking, though, so I'm not so boring. All right. A couple of summers ago, I went with my daughter and my dad's cousin and her son, Chase, my cousin Chase, and his grandma, my great aunt. And we went up to Alaska and it's fun, super fun. Um, one of the things that we did though was Chase and I, because uh, it was June in Alaska, we decided to go on an adventure. Well, um, his mom and grandma watched my daughter for me because it was like midnight. The sun was still kind of out and we went looking for bears. Did not find any, but we definitely heard, we definitely saw some big bear tracks, which was really exciting. And then uh, we heard a noise in, uh, in, on the other side of some bushes. So we ended up crawling through some bushes looking for a bear. We're pretty sure the animal turned out to be a horse, but that's okay. It was still fun. Fun little adventure. Alrighty. So let's see. We're going to come on now with some of our light and brown color, and we're just going to... <laughs> this is just crazy looking. <laughs> It's very fluffy. <laughs> oh well. Alrighty, so let me see here. I'm gonna do a little, about five seconds of thinking. That's a lie. I'm not. I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna get some background stuff done. Alright. I'm just gonna grab our big old two inch brush and I'm just gonna start adding some greens and some whites to it. And we're just going to fill it in. Oh, like, hey, there's some trees. Here's a, this bear's not at the game farm. It's in the forest kind of thing. Just kind of adding some background green colors, smearing them about a bit. We're gonna move this guy up here for right now. All right, we don't have that much time, so we're just gonna kinda hightail it through. Maybe add some more white. So what I'm really hoping is this summer to go on an adventure with my hubby, the guy who's uh, recording this right now. I'm really hoping to go to Brooks Falls. We'll see. But it would be pretty awesome to go and see all the bears out there in Alaska. Get some much better reference pictures for paintings, maybe. Um, plus, it would just be it would just be like the best experience, you know, just getting to see bears, do bear stuff, eating salmon and stuff, you know. We'll see what happens. Oh, alrighty. Okay, so let's go here. So we're gonna use these dark colors. And part of the reason why I used a white buffer is because um, where the sunlight's hitting the fur, the backlit fur, I just want it to kind of pop. And I don't know if it's gonna work or if I have enough time to really try and make this happen. I haven't really painted a lot of animals or anything in a while, so. I'm just kind of getting these colors to merge a little bit. See what happens. 
happens here. Alrighty. I kind of want a warmer brown, so I'm gonna grab this color. I know I'm halfway through. Ooh, whoops. Okay. Ah, I'm accidentally trying to add more timers onto my timer. <laughs> I need some more white. Hold on. Yeah, that sounds gross, I know. <laughs> All righty, so. Let's see here. A mm, little gentle pinkish color, maybe? And a little gentle pinkish color here, too. Just kind of pulling it up, giving it, I don't know. My colors are now mixing a little too much, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to keep moving forward, right? All right, so, oh, oh well. Let's see, let's go here and then down and then here. And I know it's probably hard to tell because I'm just using a bunch of white. Now that we're mixing the brown in, it should be a little easier to see what we got going on. Just uh, trying to get this all going. I'm just gonna try and get some fur action happening. Now, we don't have that much time left, so I'm gonna have to kind of start fudging it in. All right, and then let's go this way. So it's like there's a ring of yellow. Let me get a different brush. Woohoo! Different brush. Let me try this guy. It's like almost a ring of golden color. Right through here. All right, and then some white. The sunlight's hitting. And then let's go warm brown color. So just some, like a, any burnt brown colors that I'm using. Just kind of filling it in. And then let's get a dark color just for right here. And we'll just kind of add some brush strokes. There's one ear. Alrighty. Here is the second ear. And we're going to add some more of that warm brown color, maybe a little yellow mixed into that. Just kind of not warm enough in my book, but that's okay. Just kind of adding it in. So yeah. I don't know. Brooks Falls. That's one of those things that I follow the hashtag of that on Instagram because I love it so much. And I love seeing all of the people's pictures of bears and it makes me so happy. So, Kyle, <laughs> now you know what I want for my birthday someday. All right, so I'm thinking a little bit. That's red. A little magenta, a little blue, just a little bit. And we're going to mix that in with our brown, and then we're going to come through here. Uh, just going to get involved and like whoosh. And then a little more blue. A little mixed into our whitish brown colors. Here we go. And like, let's take some white and give it some fur. Okay, so now we need some warmer brown colors again. So here we go. Alrighty. Nope, not good. Not right. Okay, back to the other brush. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. 
Well, this is going to be pointless if we don't get to the I part, so let's hurry it along, right? Alrighty, so now we're going to go here. Alrighty, and then we're just going to come out this way. And then we're going to little black, little brown. Let's see here, so right under the big nose. Yep, and then we're going to go this way. Colors are getting all mixed up on my palette. Oh well. Okay. Need some of the warm colors again. Here we go. Let's see here. Oh, four minutes. Okay. So let's get in on this. Let's get this going. Hmm. All right. So let's hit it with some white right here. So woo. another layer of white right here. Woo. All righty, and then we're gonna come down here. Let's get this guy a little darker right through here. right through this way and a little shady a little bluish color over this side alrighty back into some browns um, and some goldens alrighty what brush am I grabbing? I'm out of room on my table. I saw, oh, sorry, I'm getting snappy now. I'm like stressed. Sorry, I saw deer. Thank you. Going as fast as I can, though. Snapping at my poor
kind of nixed the whole bear sitting part of it. <laughs> Just went for a bear. I'm going to sign it and call it a day. Thank you, Chase, for the suggestion. I do still love bears with all my heart, so this was fun. And I'll have to paint one for real sometime because I love them. All right, I hope you get the chance to do some painting yourself at some point and swing some pigment around and make a thing. All right, bye.